But the other big story yesterday, James Shaw, he didn't run out of gas. There wasn't, there was no gas left in the tank. There was no charge left in the battery, I think would have been a better thing to say. But as had long been predicted, James Shaw um, resigns, it was going to resign in March after some bill of his gets through the House. Um, he's going to resign as co-leader of the Greens. Uh, so he stays on as an MP. They now begin the process, which I think involves Morris dancing and taking LSD of, of uh, selecting a new leader. What does all this mean politically? What does it mean for the Greens? Um, and Parliament's back this week, so so what's happening? Well, our mate Chris Trotter joins us um, to yarn about all of this. How are you, Chris? I'm very well, thanks, Sean. All right. Well, not a surprise, exactly. No one fell off their seat yesterday when James Shaw said he'd had enough, did they? No. Um, I think the greater wonder is that he's been able to stick it out for so long. long. Because, you know, he has been quite cynically used, I think, by his colleagues, uh, particularly his parliamentary colleagues in the Green Party, when they need the sensible, reasonable face of, dare I say it, a straight white male. A white, cis, um, middle-class New Zealand male, yeah. Indeed, when that is helpful, out strides uh, James and... In a, in a suit. Talk. In a suit. Yeah, in a suit, in a tie. Uh, yeah. And, and you, usually talks uh, a great deal of common sense that a great many New Zealanders uh, shake their heads at. Even it has got to be acknowledged, and this is, I think, his, his legacy, um, people in the National Party... Uh, parliamentary colleagues in the National Party who um, signed up to his zero carbon bill uh, yeah. back during the, the term of the last government. That was a pretty impressive effort. Um, and I think that is what he will be remembered for primarily um, alongside rescuing his party again and again. Because let's not forget uh, I think it was the election of uh, 2017. Was that the one when Materia told her Les Miserables? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right? And, you know, completely and utterly blew up um, the, the Greens' um, election campaign just weeks out, yeah. if that. Yeah. Uh, and he just stepped in and he just through an act of political will, really, um, dragooned uh, his parliamentary colleagues into something resembling an electable party and uh, managed to hold the Greens over 5%. Yeah, because that was very, one of their darkest very, hours, wasn't it? Oh, it was, and very, very few people would, A, have been able to withstand the shock um, the political shock of that scandal in the way he did, yeah. let alone um, uh, pull his party together and and yeah. get them back into Parliament, albeit reduced. Um, yeah. That that really was um, quite something. He was a politician of uh, of some real quality, and he never ever received the thanks he deserved for it. In fact, you know, they kept on humiliating him. They well, how did they do that? How did the rest of his caucus humiliate him? Well, I mean, the most obvious example was they used the very uh, strange rules that the Greens have um, that you have to receive a 75% yeah. um, support um, if, if you're unopposed <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and no one wants to run against you I mean usually that's a slam dunk um, yeah. <laughs> in the rest of the political world and it's also you know a tribute like nobody wants to run against you yeah. Um, yeah. you're the man but no 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 they forced him to sort of get down on his knees and beg uh, the, the membership um, you know to treat him kind um, which they did in the end, um, but 
what a thing to put your leader through. And and yeah. how is he supposed to feel after that? What yeah. is he supposed to do after that? Yeah. Um, but he soldiered on. Um, he soldiered on. And he, alongside Marama Davidson, although personally I don't think she contributed a great deal to the result that the Greens um, achieved in the last election, eleven point six percent. And what's a good result? Biggest, biggest vote that mm. biggest vote that they've they've ever got. Okay, and but then the Gowers Garriman thing, um, which is just a you know just awful really. If you're in politics, that's just there's nothing good about that. That's a you lose an MP and and you have a scandal. Um, do you think that was the straw that broke James's political back, or do you think this was on the cards for a while, Chris? Well, I don't know because I wasn't, you know, behind the yeah. the the um, the scenery, as it were, um, when that drama was unfolding. But you know, people like Janet Wilson, who've been around a long time and know the rules of public relations. I mean, I think I read a piece by her which yeah. said that will become a textbook case in how not to handle um, a, a crisis in your organisation. And I just wonder, you know, whether whether James um, had a position on, on what to do and um, other people within the Greens had a position yeah. on... I, I, I must say, just for the happened. record, Chris, I don't think they handled a bad situation that badly. I think it was dealt with not? relatively quick, quickly, given it was the time of the year... I don't buy into the PR disaster. It was bad news, but they dealt with it pretty quickly. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's... I, I, I really... That's, you that's cannot the make generous, a silk piece out of a sow's ear. I mean, it just seemed to me that there was an awful lot of time between them discovering what was going on. Yeah, and well, there was, up. and that's the way that yeah. chaos and bad news unfolds. But I'm sorry, I, I didn't buy into you. That was a disaster. At all. Yeah. I just think they handled the situation as the cards that were dealt to them. They did it in a relatively timely manner. Less than a week after, less than a week after that story broke, Goris Garriman had resigned with a clear, unambiguous apology and statement. And I'm sorry, I don't think that's a public relations disaster. Okay. Mm. There you go. That, 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 yeah, that's a fairly solid argument. Yeah. When when you when you remind us all that, as far as the Greens are concerned, it was only a week. The actual yeah. timeline of the offences or alleged. Oh offenses yeah, and that is something longer, that Gowrie has but, but, to deal but, with and will be reported on separately. Yeah. But she's separated yeah. from the party. So look, yeah. James Shaw goes. How do they replace him? I jokingly said they use a combination of Morris dancing and LSD trips uh, to pick the, their next leader. Uh, how do they do it? And, and they've changed their rules yet again so that they don't uh, have to appoint a woman. Uh, a man, sorry. Another cis yeah. white man. Not that they've got any cis white men left in their... In their um, oh, I think, I think they, they? May have, um, they may have acquired such a, such a rare beast um, uh, uh, in the last election. 